Good morning. Today is Wednesday of the first week of Easter, and our morning prayer is found on page 504. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, by his death, your only begotten Son overcame death. And through the power of the resurrection, he opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that we who celebrate with joy in this Paschal season may be raised from the death of our sin by your life-giving spirit. We ask this through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Come, let us join our cheerful songs with angels round the throne. Ten thousand thousand are their songs, but all their joys are one. Worthy the Lamb that died, they cry, to be exalted thus. Worthy the Lamb, our lips reply, for he was slain for us. Jesus is worthy to receive honor and power divine, blessing more than we can give. Be Lord forever thine. Let all that dwell above the sky, the air and earth and seas, conspire to lift thy glories high and speak thine endless praise. The whole creation joins in one to bless the sacred name of him that sits upon the throne and to adore the Lamb. Psalm 66. Shout joyful praises to God all the earth. Sing about the glory of his name. Tell the world how glorious he is. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Your enemies cringe before your mighty power. Everything on earth will worship you. It will sing your praises, shouting your name in glorious songs. Come and see what our God has done, what awesome miracles he performs for people. He made a dry path through the Red Sea, and his people went across on foot. There we rejoiced in him, for he is his great power. He rules forever. He watches every movement of the nation. Let no rebel rise in defiance. Let the whole world bless our God and loudly sing his praises. Our lives are in his hands, and he keeps our feet from stumbling. You have tested us, O God. You have purified us like silver. You captured us in your net and laid the burden of slavery on our backs. Then you put a leader over us. We went through fire and blood, but you brought us to a place of great abundance. Now I come to your temple with burnt offerings to fulfill the vows I made to you. Yes, the sacred vows that I made when I was in deep trouble. That is why I am sacrificing burnt offerings to you, the best of my rams as a pleasing aroma and a sacred sacrifice of bulls and male goats. Come and listen, all you who fear God, for I will tell you what he did for me. For I cried to him for help, praising him as I spoke. If I had not confessed the sin of my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God did listen. He paid attention to my prayer. Praise God who did not ignore my prayer or withdraw his unfailing love from me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Romans chapter 6. Since he died, we died with Christ. We know that we will live with him forever. We are sure of this because Christ was raised from the dead and he will never die again. Death no longer has any power over him. When he died, he died once to break the power of sin. But now that he lives, he lives for the glory of God. So you also should consider yourselves to be dead to sin and alive to God through Christ Jesus. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. He has hurled both horse and rider into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. 
he has given me victory. This is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. Yahweh is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he has hurled into the sea. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, smashes the enemy. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord? Glorious in holiness, awesome in splendor, performing great wonders. You raised your right hand, and the earth swallowed our enemies. With your unfailing love, you lead the people you have redeemed. In your might, you guide them to your sacred home. You will bring them in and plant them on your own mountains. The place, O Lord, reserved for your own dwelling. The sanctuary, O Lord, that your hands have established. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. In the morning, we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, source and summit of our Christian life, be with us now and forever. Lord Jesus, comfort of the sick and the sorrowful, accompany those who struggle with their health and those who minister to them. Lord Jesus, consolation of the persecuted and the afflicted, be ever present to those who suffer on account of your name. Lord Jesus, the life and hope of those who die in you, prepare us for death even now as we live. Lord Jesus, the beginning and end of the ages, bring us at last into your presence to rejoice in your goodness forever. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, as once your blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, so too make him known to us anew in these Paschal days. Open the eyes of our faith and grant that we may behold him in, in a work in our lives, in the lives of others, and in the redemption of our peace, today and always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld His glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in His peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our gain his peace. May souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen.